So you're not happy with the APA's recent uh, paper I, I, guideline? I am, I am on absolutely men. ashamed to call myself a psychologist in the aftermath of the APA's Let's just say what it is. What exactly did they say? That well, they it, said it was guidelines for the treatment of boys and psychological treatment of boys and men. But that isn't what it is. It's and that's, a social justice treatise on how you better think if you're a psychologist, if you don't want to be pursued. That's but, exactly what it is. But what they actually said was that traditional masculinity mm -hmm. was harmful. And yep. one of the arguments they said they made for two for reasons, two yeah. reasons. Compromise the mental health of boys and men and presented a social danger. And it's an absolute bloody lie. And here's, here's how you know. It's very straightforward. Biggest risk factor for long-term delinquency, antisocial behavior, and violent criminality. In boys and Fatherlessness. Girls. Fatherlessness. Right, okay, so let's let's walk through it. Okay, so the, the idea is that boys are socialized to be pathologically masculine by men. We're assuming they're fathers. Okay, so then why is it in families with no fathers that everything falls apart? And then, like, no one disputes that that's the case. They don't cover that in that damn article. So, and then, they, you know, they also assume that aggression is socialized. It's like, no, aggression, aggression is innate. Peacefulness is socialized. And how is it socialized? Well, men, for example, one of the things that men do with their young boys is wrestle with them. They rough and tumble play with them. Well, what is that? Well, it's aggression. It's like, no, it's not. It's play. And what do you do when you're rough and tumble playing? It's like you show the boy, and the girl too, because it happens with girls, how much they can exert themselves physically and still have the game continue. What hurts and what doesn't? How far someone else can be pushed? How much fainting and, and, and tactical maneuvering you can do? How much you can be extended? How you can trust if you're thrown in the air? Like these things are fundamentally important. And men do a lot of that. And they regulate the, it's such, that, that article is just, it's absolutely scandalous what they've done. They've, I, they've inverted, the, it's, not even, it's not even wrong. It's anti-truth. It's worse than wrong. I'll play devil, devil's advocate, at, at, at least in part. There was a book, I think, in the 80s by uh, David Gilmore, not the one from the Pink Floyd, uh, Manhood in the Making, mm -hmm. where he said that the, the common denominator in most cultures, not all, is that maleness is associated with suppression of emotions. He had a an, uh, Nancy Kodorov kind of argument for the, psycho, the psychoanalytic side, but he said, if you look at cultures, Manhood is a test of endurance almost everywhere. So like they would, in some cultures he surveyed, they would torture you, yeah. and if you flinch, you lose your manhood. Yeah, right. So right. Is that, would you consider that part of masculinity harmful? Well, t it depends on the degree to which it trains you to endure. It's like, look, oh, there's all but these... But would you say it's defined by suppression of feelings? Because that's not, what they not say. If it's, not if it's done in a sophisticated manner. It's, it's defined by the, by the, what would you call... By the, by, the, by the sophisticated integration of the emotions. It's like, there's gonna be, you're gonna be facing hard things, man, in your life. It's like, you're gonna break down. And I mean, look, I'm saying this as a very emotional male, right? Like my proclivity to tears has been overwhelming all my life. And so, so, uh, so. Sometimes well, in your talks. Yes, yes. And, 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 and so, so I'm saying that, knowing that about myself. What's wrong with the ability to endure? Like, lots of times, endurance is what you have. When things are really going badly, and they will, you have the ability to put one goddamn foot in front of the other. And, like, and, and maybe you're even manifesting negative emotion about it, but that doesn't mean you stop. You don't stop. And, and that's not just a cardinal element of masculinity, although it is in the symbolic sense. It's a cardinal aspect of the development of a forthright character. You want your children to be able to endure we're so naive. It's like, no, you want them to be happy. It's like, yeah, fine, but what about when they're not happy? What, what, about, when, what about when they have a sick child? What about when someone's dying? You know, like, what? well, they should be happy. It's like, God, it's, it's, it's thin gruel. It's a leaky boat. And so you train, you train stalwart individuals to endure. Now, can that go too far? Well, obviously, you know, I mean, every culture can degenerate into into cruel tyranny you know and they can and they can and engage in sadistic rituals that have this justification to 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 to, to train endurance but what's wrong with endurance and to inhibit emotion isn't it's not to inhibit emotion precisely it's to put things in their proper place 
when you, when you have people relying on you, including yourself, but when you have people relying on you, you don't get to quit. People yeah. die if you quit. They suffer if you quit. It's like if you're a parent, especially. If, yes, of course. And you know, and this this is this is why I like the Christian metaphor, at least in part. It's like pick up your bloody cross and walk up the hill. You know, and of course, there's suffering and catastrophe associated with that. It doesn't mean that men should pretend that they don't have emotions, but you know, that's so obvious that it hardly needs to be discussed. I want to end uh, on, a, on a, a personal note again and, and ask you if you to, to, to remember one I moment think the of people who wrote I think the people who wrote that article are reprehensibly weak and deceitful. The, the APA article? Yes, yes. And I, I think that they justify their reprehensible weakness by an all-out assault on the idea of strength and competence and that they clothe that in virtue. It's, it's a... It's a, it's, it's a it's a nauseating document.